Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So last episode I kind of asked whether you thought I should go to war with Batania, and overwhelmingly I would say you all said yes, more or less. Uh, so the really, really important thing for me to do right now would be first uh, to take a look at who is close by. Like Trustin, or actually, well, let, let, let me get my freebies first, right? Done. Uh, what I wanted to do is take a look at the balance of power. Eh, it's relatively balanced. And about two thirds of everybody supports a war. That's actually pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm not going to make too many enemies doing this. Uh, another thing is that, of course, we have new clans that have no territory. So, who do we have? We have Vipon, and we have uh, Serratus, and they are territorialists. <laughs> so, I also want to call in Vipon and Serratus. Uh, they should bleed for their own castles. I think that's fair. Okay. I do have an okay amount of food for now. The thing is, my amount of food is going to plummet the moment I declare war. So, my game plan here... Hmm. It's to take Atacania Castle and then go west. And leave this stuff here. And here's the reason. Um, I want Batania and Kuzate to still go to war with one another. And if I take... Diathmon, Epicatria, and all these other castles up here. Um, well, Kuzate will just declare war on me. And I don't want that. Uh, I don't want that at all. Right? I want them fighting each other because that benefits me. So, proposing a war. Giffer and uh, Nikasaur says no. But I say yes. Uh, I'm going to figure out what my relationship to Giffor is, though. Uh, just to make sure that, you know, I don't, I'm not really upsetting him. Because I could always donate to him. Relation 40, yeah, that's fine. Alright, Atacana Castle. Let's hope that you are not one of these castles that, uh, gets very, very, very angry when you break the walls. <laughs> All right, the Lake Rats just joined Patania. Uh, so Patania will be a little bit stronger numerically. Yeah, they're about a thousand stronger. That's fine. I was expecting that. Oh, Giffer's already back here at Atacania. Like, uh, you know what? You, sir, just, you were like five feet away. Oh, wow. Uh, all right, I can't even pull you in. Uh, who can I pull in? Milos. There we go. Now, I should be a little careful with my uh, influence because there is the possibility, of course, that, uh, that I'm required to, you know, stop peace agreements and, and the like. All right, here we go. Now that we're actually rolling in a larger army, my days of food are going to be sh fewer, but uh, we are going to be able to get our siege equipment out quicker. And surprisingly enough, this castle actually has food. Uh, a lot of the castles that I besiege do not. I could also see that we are doing a lot of raiding here. So if I already check the deployment screen, uh, we've already inflicted a fair bit of casualties. Um, Oh, somehow they lost a ballista in that. That's pretty funny. I have 11 days of food. That should be fine. That should suffice. Uh, we have people escaping from captivity. I'm guessing... Uh, Tassinor raided some things. All 
right, once this uh, trebuchet gets made, I'm going to unreserve the others. Come on, trebuchets. Don't aim for the walls. Aim for the ballistae. Man, they are cranking out ballistae real fast. I think I'm going to keep building regular siege equipment to get my engineering up. But they are, as you can see, they're a well-supplied castle that must have high upgrades because they are... Um, here, cancel. They're breaking my traps real fast. And uh, make it ballistae really, really fast. I also have to keep an eye over here. Because uh, it would be really, really easy for me to miss while staring at the trebuchets fighting and whatnot. Uh, Sachanus, taken prisoner by Aaron. Alright. We've got nine days of food. I think we'll be able to do this in nine. Nikasaur, taken prisoner. Okay, so they are actually taking a bunch of people prisoner. Uh, we have a lot more successful raids and have inflicted a lot more casualties, but they've taken more prisoners. Noted. God, their infinite ballistae cranking is just absurd. But we're, we're tearing down the walls. Who leveled up? It was my engineering. Imperial fire. Not that that does anything, but... Makes me feel good collecting it. Alright, Belathor, taking prisoner as well. But uh, my guys are starting to escape from captivity. So, they can take us prisoner, but we'll get out. All right, one wall cracked. Come on, get the other one. And the other wall cracked. Let's lead an assault. That was, uh, that was annoying at best, but you know. Hmm. Nice and wintry. Yeah. Okay, so I did pull the siege towers out. There's really no point in having siege towers uh, when you've already breached the walls because you don't need them. And this is a very familiar castle setup. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, maybe I won't go riding into the crowd by myself. I'll wait for backup. My horse can't even scale this for some reason. It's just like a wall to me. All right. I will find something else to bide my time. Come on, horse. Come on, horse. Oh, this leads nowhere. Okay, never mind. Back to the seemingly unscalable wall with a head start. Okay, I see why you didn't want to go. I understand now. <laughs> I keep doing it. You know what? No regrets. I'm just gonna keep messing with them like this. Raptor Town leveling up. This is obviously their big wave respawn area. Ooh, throwing rocks and everything. Excuse you. Run 
throwing rocks at me? Well, I'm very much cornered. But you know what they say about a cornered bear, right? Well, don't corner a bear. Oh god, there is hundreds of them left. Maybe not hundreds, but I'm definitely staring down some dozens here. Alright. I want to keep my horse alive. Where did they go? Oh, they went up. Oh, and I'm down. Yeah, uh, that's my own fault. The maneuverability of my horse was terrible. Alright, let's fast forward through this. The numbers game, you can see the green on the right. It is a clean sweep. We lost 41, which is higher than normal. Um, Raptor Talon really jumped somehow from 24. Oh, no, that's Richard the Stag. Okay. Uh, I will take the Hillman. God, your prisoners, well, I guess they're just what was in the garrison, but I'll cherry pick from them. All right, Atacania Castle is taken. Rote is under siege. Uh, it's unfortunate that I am wounded as I am. So I'm going to have to add some cohesion. Uh, let's go with rallying in some additional backup. Velothor escaping. So yeah, they are obviously pushing Rote here. And they did that pretty quick. Now, the other issue is, am I actually going to be able to fight uh, because I'm wounded? Oh, man, I don't know. I'm just going to have to send troops, which is really not what I like to do because my tactics are not that great. So we did lose considerable troops as a result. Um... But it was the right thing to do, and I helped out Andros. And... Raunel? You are Kaladox. Oh, you're definitely a prisoner. Okay. Let's take all the prisoners, because I'm right next to my... Um, right next to my city. Uh, the first things I want to do is... Let's go to the party screen. Which, that was not it. And Trustin needs, okay, Trustin and Damien, Damien needs about nine, Trustin needs a little bit more than that, so let's give him whatever troops I currently have. You know what, actually, I don't have any that is non-Volandian at the moment. Oh, none of my current prisoners want to join me, so actually Trustin, you just hang in there. Well, I think that was a a very big bulk of the Batanian initial forces, and we inflicted a whole lot of um, a whole lot of uh, damage. All right, going to the tavern district. I am going to choose cherry pick my ransom. I'm going to ransom off the really low and the really high and keep everybody in the middle. Uh, so I'll keep I'll keep twos in this instance because we have taken some losses. All right, there it is. And then let's go to the keep, go to the dungeon, manage prisoners. Oh boy, there is a lot of prisoners in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We threw them all in. Yes. So pretty much everybody that was uh, currently attacking, right, just got tossed in prison. I'm also going to put in all of my non-twos and threes. And we'll keep this prison because I'm going to want space to add additional prisoners. 
and I'll just recruit from this uh, this group of 12. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't realize how hard it hit. I mean, I know we crushed the thousand person army or whatever, right? But I didn't realize how bad it was for Britannia. It's very bad. They'll escape in due time, sure, but for now, that is a hard hit. So, yeah, that's garbage. Garbage, garbage. Okay, all of the armors are garbage. And then... There we are. They only really have grain, but that will keep me fed for now. By a ridiculous amount of grain. And taking a look at my cohesion could be better. All right, as I said, I didn't want to cra uh, I didn't want to crash this stuff up here. Hey, what else? Excuse you. Southern Empire declared war on me during that. Uh, hang on one minute. I am going to. I'm going to propose no one supports it. Everybody supports peace with Batania. No one supports peace with uh, Southern Empire. Um, okay, so... Hmm. I'm going to head to Len, Hanok, uh, Len Nock Hen Castle. I always say that one wrong. And keep try to keep an eye on the news feed. If, uh, if the Southern Empire starts sieging something, I don't want them to take, like, let's say, Zianica, uh, I will pay for peace, even if it upsets, um, even if, if it upsets my nobles, um, because what I could do is I could just make Southern Empire, wow, you are escapingly crazy, I can make Southern Empire my next target and make them pay for declaring war on me while I was at war with Britannia. Oh, there's Aaron's army. I would very much... Okay, if they're riding to Jamaris, I am going to stop what I'm doing and chase them down. Wow, this town has literally not a single anything to give me. Come on, over the bridge. Wow, daily gold change. Dang, 7k. Alright, so they're heading to Etikania Castle. And Zianica just got besieged by Pato's army. Um, Alright, so that's exactly what I was referring to. Even if nobody of my nobles wants this, I am paying the big hefty price to make peace with the Southern Empire. Fully knowing that I intend to kick them in the teeth the moment I have a chance. Right, but at this very moment now... Um, I'm spread too thin. Atacondia Castle will go to to, to uh, Serratus. He has no territory. And neither does Vipon. We're getting a lot of uh, people imprisoned here. Ah, uh, Ragnvad, you're up here too? Oh, I cannot wait. Hey, Aaron. Surrender or die. You're... It's funny that he's like, Oh, I don't want to fight you, I don't want to fight you. It's like, you were attacking my castle, dude. Like, you were so dead to me. Alright, so there's really no high ground, per se. So I'm just going to put my archers, like, way out in the open here. Spread out! Soldiers! Forward! Raise your infantry! So the infantry, quote-unquote, is actually cavalry. Pull soldiers! No, I'm not starting with 100% health. I can hear my crossbowmen starting to fire. 
So although I myself don't have a good shot on this. If they're firing, I'm fine with it. Oh wow, they have no ranged in this arm in their army at all. They have like three bowmen. So this is a uh, this is a scenario. I'm holding left alt here to see. They have 93 pikemen, spearmen types, and like three ranged. I could absolutely decimate their army without doing having to do really anything here if I'm wise about my uh, my ranged units. So I'm trying to position my archers so they have a line of sight on everybody else, so we can just rip them up. And I do believe that firing from this... Really? You're not firing yet? Fine. Go here. Come on. See the horse. Okay. I must have gotten their attention because now they're on the move. I'm moving against their cavalry. Come on, crossbowman. Start firing. What is your deal, crossbowman? My horse almost just died. I will switch horses. So that I don't end up killing my horse. Oh boy, this is not a good horse. So my infantry and cal uh, crossbowmen are busy duking it out over there, and I am just gonna try to take out their, their horsemen so that we don't get harassed. Looks like they're in full-fledged retreat to me. God, this horse is not fast. I'm not really gonna be able to do uh, clever hit-run tactics or anything with this Plunker of a horse. Maybe I'll take your horse. Hey, you. You can keep your shield up. But I think we... I think you're not going anywhere, Mr. Noble. You. Okay, yep. You're down. Where'd your horse go? Putting all these guys, I honestly don't even know where her horse went. All right, whatever. Pony, it's you and me. Oh, Jesus. He almost got me there. They are outnumbered. Oh, that was one of the uh, vassals, too, that I just crushed. Put that crossbow away. Oof. All right, I've taken enough damage. I'd like to stay upright so that I can lead the next siege. It's all armchair general a little bit here.
And I told my troops to charge because we outnumber them and I can wrap this up. I'm trying to help you, whoever you are. My aim is terrible. I think charging, although seemingly reckless, was the right choice. Because if you look at the feed here, it is what well, was until a second ago mostly green. Yeah, we're just blue wave wiping out the green. be hurt, but that's not going to stop me from jousting you guys. Not at all. You've been on my little pony. Teehee. Oh, do you not have a pony? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, they do have some horsemen in our back, just doing some harassing. And I can put an end to that. Now at this point, we have basically overrun the respawn point. So, spawn camping, basically. Oh, you were aiming for me. Yeah, not anymore. I should just, if I was wise, grab one of these war horses that uh, are all around me. I just haven't. Uh, well, you're off your horse. I don't really care now. Actually, you might be one of the last men alive, so I do care. There. <laughs> and there it is. 300. Wow. All right. That was some really good numbers there. Uh, this army was... Yeah, you're definitely my prisoner. And you're my prisoner. Uh, this army was heavily responsible for uh, the capture of a lot of my troops. So taking them down like this is meaningful. Aaron personally captured a whole bunch of my uh, vassals. And now he is no longer on the battlefield. So... I'm not going to have enough uh, capacity to take everybody, so I'm just taking the high levels uh, from which I can recruit from. I can almost take everybody, though. Okay, so we are... Perfect. Uh, pretty much all of my companions, um, well, they've seen better days. There is also Ragnvad here. Who's also at war with us. I might detour because... Towards him, because I don't want him... Being able to interrupt me at all. And Aaron's escaped. Of course he did. Of course you did. Oh, I also brought in a ton of non-Valandian uh, in my army right now. So let me hand these guys out.
two more. Done. You are full. Oh, what is it? Uh, three more. You are full. I think. You know, if my... What is seemingly basic math skills... Okay, yeah, you're full. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. Okay, and can... You get a little shafted here, because I simply don't have enough to fill your troops. But hey, that's... I tried. Now, where are you riding? You're besieging Jomaris? Uh, sure. I'll just follow you all to wait to Jomaris. Well, Mimir, you're a real idiot. Whoa. That was a big cohesion hit. Alright, Ragnvad, you're gonna want peace after this, I think. Uh, can, let me talk to you. And let's check also how the war has been going. So, Sturgia hasn't even touched me. Um, Batania... We have taken far more prisoners than they have taken, inflicted far more casualties and raids, and uh, the only siege was mine. Could someone wrap... Well, he's riding into a corner. Let me play this smart. There we are. We are at war. Surrender or die. Yield. I don't care. Attack. You bastard waited for me to be Jokes, at war with Batania to declare war on me. Same with the Southern Empire. And you know what? Sarlin here has a long memory and will make you pay like you've never paid for anything before. Obviously, again, pretty similar map. I do not, and there is not really high ground for me to take yet. I could work my way over here. Oh, never mind, never mind. I didn't want them to reposition. Bye-bye, Simir. Ragnvod famously does not have a horse, I think. So I don't... I always have a hard time trying to find him in a crowd. Because he blends in real good. I'm having them reposition on the hill above the respawn point while my cavalry harass. And we've done it. Now the Sturgeon Brigands with the, uh, the the throwing spears can really put out some serious damage uh, if you get hit one, by one of these. So you gotta be careful fighting these guys because they can really 
do a lot at once. But I think you can hear the bolts of these crossbows ripping up the enemies here. Now, let me deal with the, uh, with the few cavalry that are being annoying. Hey, I'm on my, my actual horse, and I can ride these guys down. One of the advantages of having, of course, the fastest horse, or one of the fastest horses that you can get, is no one can run from you. Was there an enemy that went back here? No. I'm having my cavalry pull back so they don't over oh wow that was a flop that was awesome to watch all right here's some more cavalry for me to go after Does your shield cover you 100%? Come on now. Thought not. Oh, hey, look at you. You all want a piece, huh? There you go. There's a piece of that. There's a piece of that. There's a piece of that. You too. There's a piece of that. <laughs> oh, boy. You all need some riding lessons. Because I just schooled you for free. Alright, I'm doing a counter charge now. They don't have enough numbers for me to be careful with tactics or whatever. They're disorganized and routing. I just don't want to be caught in there. Oh no, not like that. I took out a lot of horse raiders. Alright, so we should be wrapping up this fight. I got him. Don't you worry. Alright, there's a few horse lords left. My specialty. Totally crushed. How many did I personally kill? I felt like I did pretty good there. Uh, where is my party? About 25 of them? Yeah. 25 with about half life starting at the start. Samir, you were definitely my prisoner. Ragenvad, Grand Prince Ragenvad. Yeah, you're my prisoner too. And you know what? All your prisoners are my prisoners now. I hope I'm close enough to uh, Jamaris to dump these prisoners off before they escape. Uh, but before I go anywhere, Sturgia wants me to pay them tribute? Are you nutty? I have their king in my pocket. Alright, Legion of Betrayed just left me. That's alright. Uh, that's literally what their name is all about, I guess. Donating prisoners. Samir, Ragnvad, enjoy the cold cell. And then, let's go ahead and go to the Tavern District. Choose prisoners to be ransomed. Ransom off the low and the high. You have to strike a good balance of like um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ransom off the twos as well. You have to strike a good balance of how many people to keep so that you can recruit while marching around 
and how many spaces to free up so that you could take more prisoners. It is not a balance that I strike well, necessarily. Oh, Nywin. Uh, I'll have to put you somewhere, you know, comfortable. So, I think my prisoner capacity is good now. Um, keep dungeon donate. Oh yeah, perfect. So we got them. Uh, Alright, now food. We're at a new town. Of just able to buy grain. Okay, that's sad. And then let's go ahead and sell whatever we've got. Uh, rusty longsword. No, there's really nothing here for me to keep. Nothing here. That's a nice looking bow, but it's, you know, not good. Uh, that armor is maybe better, but it only protects body. It does not protect arms or legs. I think its numbers are slightly better for... Let's give it to Val the Vulture. It's a tough choice because... You know, you know, oh, uh, you guys did not have enough money to... Well, here, you know what I could do? Um, let me buy some armor. Really? I sold them this much stuff? Okay, so here we're, we're just about breaking even. That's, that's fine. And then I'll have some armor to hand out. As you can see, I don't have a, a good food variety here. Okay. And then, for armor, Raptor Talon, my dear sister. Let's give you some actually good stuff. Oh, God, you look very shiny. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And then Val the Vulture. Okay, this stuff is not better. Cool. Should keep her alive. And right, there we have it. Now, I do, I am currently basically 100% full of prisoners. Uh, let's ride up to Legata and drop some more in. I could obviously put them in Jalmaris, but I don't own Jalmaris. Or no, do, do I? No, yeah, uh, Mantios owns Jalmaris, so I don't want to, I don't want to be putting my, um, my personal uh, prisoner in Jalmaris as a result. Uh, you are going to get... Basher. Everybody is escaping from everywhere. Uh, but Botania, you are really taking the brunt of this. Now, another thing that I might want to do is. Yeah, and I'm going to do it. Some of the. Some of these allies that have had their numbers run down. I'm going to release and pull in some fresh armies. I have to be wary of my influence cost, though. Because um, I need influence to keep us marching. But the, the guys here... We took out two main armies of Batania. Which means uh, we can probably raid a lot more effectively now. There's just not giant marching armies to help defend against my... Uh, to, to defend against um, raids... And that means that the guys that I'm freeing up right now uh, will be able to re-recruit for their own numbers and then counter-raid. Which is pretty helpful. So, oh, Can, you are full. Okay. Damien needs one, but I'm that's more of it than it's worth. All right, Mimir just took... I wasn't... I saw Mimir. Don't worry. When... when uh, Ragnvad was marching. But, uh... I figured I wasn't going to be able to catch him.
Oh, that's a Volan... Wait, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Uh, keep the Volandians. I'm putting in the non-Volandians into garrison, because I'm not supposed to have non-Volandians, but... Uh... And then, as far as prisoners go, I'm going to put all of the threes and keep only fours. So that we're not unnecessarily bogged down. I'm still keeping 41 prisoners. I'll even put some of the fours in. There. Do you guys... Oh, yes. Good Goodness gracious, yes. Capacity exceeded. That's alright. I'll sell some grain. They had some uh, variety of food here. I'm happy to pay whatever it takes. And this is where I'm going to leave off. Um, we managed to crush two of their main armies and capture Atacondia Castle. And next episode, I'm going to hit uh, this area here. L Lenok Hen, Marnath, Remtoil. You know, sort of take this area. If you have any feedback for me, do let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and tune back in for the episodes to come. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next episode. Farewell. <laughs>